Hello, these are my runner beans growing in 10 inch pots of a bamboo frame. Sometimes when you transplant into the garden you get the timing just right. You get some rain, you get some mild weather and the seedlings and the plants kick on. Sometimes you get the timing just wrong. And I think with these runner beans I've got the timing just wrong. Um, because no sooner they planted these than the wind started to blow and we've had at least two weeks of constant wind blowing these plants and you can probably see that these leaves are shriveled but there is a centre that's still growing so although I'm tempted to replace some of these now not as windy as it was, the weather's picked up, so we'll give them another couple of weeks to kick on, and if they don't kick on, then we'll replace the ones that have, uh, that have been damaged by the wind. Uh, I grew runner beans like this last year, and I had a super crop, uh, hopefully I'm expecting the same this year. If you have a go at growing runner beans in pots, one thing I will advise is that when these plants get to the top of these cans they'll be six, seven, eight foot tall and they'll need a lot of water to wick right up to the top of the plant. So you're forever watering these things. So if you're not committed to do that, if you're not committed to get out and water your pots regularly, then don't attempt runner beans in 10 inch pots. But if you're prepared to put the work in, you can get a good crop of runner beans from 10 inch pots. I know that, I've done it last year, I just didn't put it on video um, but this year I'm going to uh, keep updating the progress of these runner beans. So I hope you've enjoyed this video. This is Homegrown Veg, signing out.